What's up guys and welcome back to another math puzzle. These are some of my favorite puzzles ever where we are taking a set of matchsticks that already present a particular number. In this case, it's 508 and we want to manipulate only two matchsticks to make the largest number possible. Think very carefully on this one, all right? Hit that pause button and see if you can figure it out. When you're ready, hit play and I'll give you the explanation. All right, now I know the first thing that probably popped into a lot of people's head is this. So you look at this puzzle and you're like, okay, I can move two matchsticks, here's what we do. First, I'm gonna move this guy right there to make a nine, that looks pretty cool because I turned a five into a nine. And then I'm gonna rotate this guy up and drop him up there. And now voila, we have 999 with a substantial improvement from 508, we moved two matchsticks, done. But this is in fact not the correct solution. It's a great solution. It's a really clever way to think, but there is a bigger, better number that we can get. And I'm gonna show you how now. So going back to the original setup of 508, we again wanna think a little bit more creatively, a little bit more outside the box. Now, just because we have three digits in the original number doesn't mean that our final number must be limited to three digits. So I'm gonna show you how to think outside the box and how we can get the biggest number possible. What I'm going to do is remove the bottom and the top of this zero because in that way, we're actually gonna create two numbers from one. So what better uh, way to make this a larger number than to increase the number of digits? So I'm gonna take this matchstick, but I'm not just gonna throw it away. I'm gonna place it over here and combine it with this guy. So very interesting, what have we done now? We not only turned that zero into two ones, I also used the top and bottom to make another digit. So I basically turned one digit into three digits. So what do we have now? We have 51,181, which of course is the solution. I hope you enjoyed this math puzzle, and if you did, please click that like button. If you wanna see more math puzzles on the regular, make sure to click subscribe. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next video. Take it easy.